say, okay, this, here's the real person speaking. This is the accent that they use. Like, this is how they, like, do they keep the R or not? Do they say work or work, for example? Here or here? And then, and then uh, I'd say, okay, so the accent part is that. Now, this person's, speci the, like, the person themselves, one of the doctors, for example, had a habit of just going, uh, well, yes, of course, I think this, uh, right? I said, you don't have to go, uh, that's, yeah. that's called fry, vocal fry. That would get really way. annoying yeah. watching a movie. So I said, you don't have to do that, right? <clears throat> but, but in terms of his accent and what class he is from and where is his education, this is mm. how he spoke, right? Now, in that hospital, there are lots of doctors, because it's a training hospital too, that come from all over the place. So, you know, we had a couple of actors who said, no, I don't, I don't want to do an accent and all that stuff. And we can talk about that, too, of not wanting to do an accent and why somebody who doesn't want to do an accent and pushes back. But um, so I said, OK, fine. You, you know, do you want to have a regional accent like you're from New York and you're visiting or you're studying or you're working here? And I said, the only thing is they've told me they want to make sure you don't sound Canadian, right? So that, like... Big deal. In the 80s and 90s, when we were doing a lot of movies of the week up here, remember those good old mm. days? Um, uh, I was on what was nicknamed Hoser Patrol. I would go on set and... <laughs> That's and really funny. Every, this brings I would up be, another question, though. Yeah, I'd be working with the leads, and then I would make sure somebody comes on, they have two scenes that day or one scene... And I would go knock on their trailer and say, hi, I'm the dialogue coach. I'm John. Uh, can I just hear your lines? Uh, I just want to. And they'd say, sure, we're going out and doing this. Uh, and I'd say, OK, um, do you, you, <laughs> you, just you don't sound like you're from Chicago, right? So th they would often say, and they often do this in the States. Let's say the show is set in Chicago. They don't want everybody doing a Chicago accent because they can't afford to have me work with every single person sure. and not everybody has it right but they do want uh, Canadian actors up here have to be able to do a general non-regional American accent right so um, for a long time like at, at, at actor the, our union we would hear from producers saying we you know if you want us to cast Canadian actors they have to be able to do an American accent because and, and after a while, the producers, they know what the key Canadian sounds are. They can spot them a mile away, and they will nail an actor uh, on it. And so that was my part, part of my job, was to talk to those people every day before we started and, and just let me listen to your lines. Ah, okay, you've got an about, about in there, or a rate, or tomorrow, sorry, dollar, those kind <laughs> of sounds, right? That was my question. So uh, keep, you keep going, but okay. I have a question. Okay. So I would sort of pull those back and move those back, right? Change those a little bit. So we got to kind of a neutral place. 